how much time will the train x take to cross another train y running in opposite directions so basically we have to look at finding out time that uh, train x would take to cross another train y running in opposite directions and like you all can see this is a question from data sufficiency right it is a data sufficiency based question because you can see that three statements have been given and we have to find out which of these statements is enough to arrive at the answer now what is what is directly or indirectly given in the main question he is asking us to find out the time that the train x will take to cross train y running in opposite directions now what is important here is the trains are running in opposite directions so what happens when the two trains are running in opposite directions you know that the equation when two bodies are moving in opposite direction is sum of the speeds is equal to the distance to be traveled by time so i can say speed of x plus speed of y is equal to length of x plus length of y divided by time that is the equation so five variables all together right let me write it elsewhere because okay sorry about this let me just quickly write it once again uh, at the bottom so that we can understand it clearly right the equation to be used here is speed of x plus speed of y is equal to the length of x plus the length of y divided by the time taken t right divided by the time taken t so what do you see here sum of the two speeds sum of the speeds of the two trains is equal to the distance traveled you know that in such cases the distance traveled is the sum of the lengths of the two trains divided by time right this is a standard concept which has been covered through our videos five variables we have to find out the time t we have to find out what is the time t t is equal to what is the question right how much time will it take so basically our requirement is to find t which means we need, we should know what is lx what is ly what is sx and sy four variables have to be found look at statement a train x crosses a signal pole in 6 seconds what does it mean train x crosses a signal pole in 6 seconds the equation would be speed of x is equal to length of x by 6 again we have discussed why this would happen right when you are crossing a pole you have to travel your own length so speed of the train x will be equal to length of the train x by 6 will this be enough to answer the question no because there is only one equation with two variables we don't know what is sx and what is lx we will not get anything out of it so statement a alone is not the answer so immediately option 1 also gets ruled out because option 1 says a only is sufficient to answer the question not possible <coughs> look at option b uh, look at statement b ratio of the speeds of the train x and y is 3 is to 2 so this would mean that uh, sx by sy is equal to 3 by 2 sx by sy equals to 3 by 2 right the ratio of the speeds is 3 is to 2 will this give us the answer no here again we are only talking about the ratios what exactly is sx and xy is not known to us so will statement b alone give the answer no so option 2 also gets eliminated look at statement c length of the two trains together is 500 meters this here says length of the two trains together is 500 meters which means what lx plus ly is equal to 500 will this give us the answer no because i need to find out time which needs four variables only l1 uh, lx plus ly is given so 500 by sx plus xy but still sx and xy are not known to us so c alone is not sufficient and hence option 3 is also eliminated now <clears throat> now that we have already eliminated three options is it worrying about which combination will work try with a and b only try option 4 see option 1 option 2 and option 3 are eliminated try option 4 option 4 says a and b only would be sufficient which means if you use the information in a and b together you will get the answer will you get the answer no because even if you look at a and b what do we have we have got two equations one equation is sx equals to lx by 6 the other equation is sx by xy sy equals to 3 by 2 two equations and how many variables three variables sx sy and lx two equations in three variables can be solved no even if you solve for these three variables by any chance first of all it's impossible but even if you solve we need the fourth variable which is ly not known to us so how will a and b together give the answer no option 4 also will not give the answer if 1 2 3 and 4 are wrong obviously option 5 is correct and option 5 says the question cannot be answered you cannot answer this question even with the information in all the three statements which is absolutely correct even if you use the information in all the three statements you will not be able to answer why is it so simple reason for me to find out time i need to find out what is lx ly sx and xy four variables i have got only three equations sx equals to lx by 6 sx by x, x, sy equals to 3 by 2 lx plus ly equals to 500 three equations in four variables cannot be solved hence the question cannot be answered even by the combination of all the three statements and so our answer is option 